again, this is Cherie Duggan and I am giving an informative speech today on dating advice for a Christian. So, what's your relationship status? Is it single, divorced, married, or too complicated? <laughs> to a lot of people, being single is about being lonely, discouraged, depressed. Well, it doesn't have to be so. According to a former pastor of mine, who I give the utmost respect to, Pastor Mason Betha, he, he defines singleness as a time of preparation for the opportunity that will bring you unto your ultimate destination in life. Now see, single being single is not too bad. Just think of it as a pass to be selfish just a little bit. And you, it's a time where you can be, you can get yourself together, and that way you'll be more prepared to spend the rest of your life with your significant other. Here are a couple of things about when you're when you want to date. You must know what you want and what you don't want, and doing doing this would save a lot of time and a lot of confusion. Who wants to who wants to be told by somebody, oh, you need to change this, you need to change that? No. If you're a person and you like a certain type of vegetable and no one else does, believe me, there is somebody out there for you. So you don't have to change anything. And then the other thing um, is is knowing what you want and what you don't want. Simply there's a scripture according to the Bible, Habakkuk 2 and 2, write the vision and make it plain. I say this because as regular people, our mind can retain a lot of information. And sometimes, thank God whoever created the memo note, they could, they have, you can, you can post things on your refrigerator or on the medicine cabinet to remind you that things, things need to be done today. Well, Writing, writing your plans out, writing the type of person that you are looking for and what, knowing what you want and what you don't want will cut out a lot of the non-factors in your life. Secondly, the thing that I want to point out is um, in dating, this goes for men and women. Don't be, I know, yeah, <laughs> okay, men and women, don't be, don't be alone too soon. It's good that you want to get to know each other. But if you going out on dates at at your house or at the other person's house and you're watching a movie, we all know, grown folks, that 10 minutes you're watching a movie and 10 minutes later the movie's watching you. Mm -hmm. Okay, three minutes. Okay. Um, it's three minutes. Okay, Mom. Oh. <laughs> Let me wrap it up. Okay. Oh, uh, the first impression matters. Um. Uh, we know that first impression, first impression matters. People generally, when they first meet somebody, they try to be somebody your somebody that you want them to be like. So in order to get them, so in order to get to know them, observe them around a group of people, how they act and how they talk around others, their family or friends. Okay, in conclusion, dating can be fun, and it should be fun because you are meeting new people. However, one should be wise and be safe in the matter and seek sane and godly counsel. It's okay to have your preferences. Uh, a person doesn't have to or shouldn't have to settle for less than what they want. God loves you and wants the best for you. You should hope this you should have you should have you should want the same thing all right i hope this helps out a little bit all right thank you bye bye <laughs> <laughs> and then just hit the